Okay, so the 13th Amendment maintains that neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, not even as a punishment. No, that's what we want. We want to change the 13th Amendment so that it states neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, not even as a punishment for crime, whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. Now, if you look at the original 13th Amendment, you'll see an exception for slavery as a punishment for crime, whereof the party shall have been duly convicted. However, uh, as a side note on uh, voting rights, uh, multiple civil rights, forced and or coerced labor, whether one is paid or not, if you are not duly convicted, then you don't lose your right to vote. If you are not duly convicted, you cannot be forced and coerced to labor whether you're paid or not. Now, do they tell anybody about this? No, 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 they don't. They don't. They, they just don't want prisoners to know and they don't want outside community members to know that if you are not, if you do not have a final judgment on your conviction, if you have an appeal going on your conviction, then you still have the right to vote still have multiple rights. You have the right not to uh, uh, participate in forced and or coerced labor. So just want to get that straight. Not too many people know about that stipulation. Now, I've also been uh, asked to uh, speak about education and, uh, uh, well, rehabilitation. Uh, I like to refer to it as also uh, habilitation, not just being rehabilitated back into society, but being habilitated so that you're not disabled, so that you're not crippled once you come outside. And so with that, Brother uh, Melvin Ray has got a great education program, and that education program will help prisoners re-enter society, and he, he wants 400 prisoners, we all want 400 prisoners per month uh, released. Some of us want 1,000 prisoners per month released, and we're trying to get that. And part of that program is uh, education inside uh, so, that, so that when people get out, they are not crippled. Uh, education, uh, my goodness, that is the first, uh, that's the first strength. I mean, remember the old saying, an educated slave is a dangerous slave? Well, we want some education. We want education inside, we want education outside, and once you have that education, uh, you at least have some tools to work with. It makes you so much stronger. Now, there are other dynamic uh, uh, constitutional, uh, citizenship, labor, <coughs> uh, human, familia rights and privileges that prisoners don't currently have that they need. They don't have it now. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Allergies. <laughs> Excuse me. Could I have a little bit of water, please? <clears throat> so we definitely want and we definitely need some way to be educated so that we're no longer slaves. <clears throat> Thank you, brother. We have to have just and due compensation for our labor. We have to have organization. We need labor unions inside. We need the IWW inside. We need workers, prisoner worker unions. When I was inside, I was a shop steward 
for the California Prisoners Union. And uh, whenever we said, close it down, then it was closed down. And those guards would look, what, what, what happened? What happened? Well, you just took so-and-so to the, to the hole, right? Yes, we did. Well, get him out. We would send attorneys that, from the prisoners union. We would get <clears throat> a phone call and the phone call would go to the, to the uh, office uh, in San Francisco. They would send a law student or an attorney over and, and all of a sudden the, the prison administration would go, oh, well, how did that happen? Okay, well, we know how it happened. We got them there and we got them out. We also had a, a number of, uh, of benefits uh, for outside uh, uh, family members. I, I told you about little Johnny, he got his teeth fixed, but we also provided food, clothing, shelter, medical, dental, uh, employment, uh, gosh, uh, uh, housing, uh, a number of, uh, of benefits for outside prisoners and outside family members. We matched it with inside benefits uh, for prisoners. And uh, and we don't want our overseers to be overseers. That's stupid. That's like the sister said a while ago. These people come in and get jobs as guards, and they think they're something, but they're really lower than the prisoners. They're lower than the prisoners, and they, and yet they treat prisoners like they are the low ones when. In reality, the guards are the lowest. I got, I've got notes. <laughs> got my notes. Uh, concerning Melvin's uh, videos, uh, I had a, a, a discussion with uh, a man uh, in, uh, in Hollywood, and I told him that this, these videos are uh, award-winning, consist of, uh, and, and have the potential of being award-winning documentaries. Oh, thank you. Award-winning documentaries. So, so he's going he's gonna to work on it. The, uh, the person I talked with uh, just happened to be uh, the ex-president of the uh, uh, Screen Actors Guild, uh, Ed Asner. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of Ed Asner. Uh, Lou Grant. Anybody ever hear of Lou Grant? <laughs> well... Uh, he's, he's been in Cap's Corner for a number of years, and I want to tell you that, that he's also uh, in Fam's Corner. He's also in IWW's Corner, all right? So uh, we have to uh, uh, really come together, which we're doing right now, and we have to provide a lot of benefits outside. We have to provide a lot of benefits inside. And remember that an educated slave is a dangerous slave because that, that educated slave is almost emancipated, you see. Once he, once he or she steps outside, uh, then they have the tools or some tools, and this is what Melvin is pushing for, to get those tools to brothers and sisters inside so that they can, they can come outside and not be totally disabled. I, when I came outside, I was afraid to walk across the street because the bars were like right here and my sensory depth perception could not judge the the speed of that oncoming traffic i was uh, so afraid that i was going to get squashed killed by 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 a, 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 an automobile outside when in reality they were way down the road and way down the road over here but i thought they were going to Get me. It took me about three months outside to break that sensory depth perception. So we don't have that sensory depth perception here. No, we don't. This is a free Alabama movement. We don't have that sensory depth perception inside. Melvin, Melvin, not with Melvin. Melvin can see through it. A lot of other prisoners can see through it. You're going to see a lot of prisoners get together very soon. So, free Alabama movement. Thank you.